What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you two different ways to test for silver in the comfort of your own home. So those of you that have seen my other videos, you already know, first thing I'm gonna tell you, make sure that you have on a pair of gloves, whether they are gloves like this that have rubber coating, nitro gloves or latex gloves, as long as they are not cloth where the acid's gonna seep through and burn your hands, you're gonna be good to go as well as a pair of safety glasses because you definitely don't want to get the acid in your eyes. So what we have here is the 18 karat gold acid and then we have our silver acid, our scratch pad, our earth magnets and two suspected silver rings. So this one does not have any kind of mark on it. This ring does have a 925 mark. Let me see if I can get the camera to focus on it. There we go, I saw it for a quick second. 925. Kind of hard to tell, but it's there, I promise. So just because it says 925 doesn't mean that it is actually silver. So first thing first, we're going to take our magnet, see if they're magnetic. So we can rule out any type of steel. So that's a good sign. Set the magnet off to the side. So the next step is going to be very similar to the gold and platinum. We're going to take each ring and we are going to scrape the alloy onto the scratch pad. So just like the other videos, I'm going to put extra on here so it's easier for you guys to see. Also because I'm going to be using both acids on each line. So here's the one that is marked 925, which is sterling silver. So we're going to see if it's really sterling silver or not. Again, I'm really scratching it a lot. You don't want to put this much um, on the scratch pad because it could potentially damage your ring. So first I'm going to start off with 18 karat acid. This is actually for testing gold, but it works very well for testing for silver as well. So when we put the drops of the acid on, what we want to see is a milky whitish color with a blue tint. What that's going to verify is that it is silver. So we'll start on the left side and then add some on the right side. So right off the bat, let me pull this closer. You can see the one on the right that is marked 925. It looks to be silver. The one on the left is dissolving. Not a good sign, not silver. So we're gonna take it a step further and I'm gonna show you why I like the 18 karat gold method better, or acid better than the silver. Especially with using a black scratch block like this, scratch pad, whatever you wanna call it. So what we wanna see when we put the silver acid on is that the acid turns a red tint. If it stays yellow, it is not silver. And again, this one's a little harder to see with the black, which is why I do not like it as much as using the 18 karat. Kinda hard to tell. I don't wanna drip this onto my gloves even though I'm wearing gloves. I'm gonna let it drip down. As you can see, it's real hard to tell, but the bottom one, you can really see the blue. So what I like to do next, you can take a paper towel, dab it, see if it's red. As you can tell, it's not, not as good as the 18 karat yellow. So the next step, if you're still unsure, after you see the, the white milky bluish tint, you can actually take the silver acid and put it on the metal itself. Now this will damage the ring. So I do not advise doing this if it's something you're going to wear. This is something that's better for, um, say if you're going to uh, scrap the metal. So as you can see, it's bubbling. It is turning blue, but that's not what we wanna see. We wanna see it turning red when it's directly on the ring because this is the silver acid and not the 18 karat gold acid. So, clean this up. Now we're going to take the silver ring that we just verified with the 18 karat gold acid Let's dab some of this on it. Let's see what happens. So it should turn red. And as you can see, kind well, I'm sorry, kind of hard to see. It is turning red. Let's put a little more. I don't care about this ring, trash ring that I found metal detecting. 
as you can see, totally different reaction than the last ring. This one turned blue, this one turned red. So we can verify this is sterling silver. So we'll go ahead and clean it up. And again, you don't really want to put it directly on the metal. If you get it off fast enough, it will come off. You can also buff it out if it leaves any marks. But if it's something that you want to just scrap anyways, or if you just want to know for your own personal reasoning, then just go ahead and put it right on the ring. So, hope you enjoyed the video. If you learned something, hit the like button. Please consider subscribing, and see you on the next one. Peace.